वन टू थ्री फोर एंड द फिफ्थ इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रेजेंट हियर विल जम्स इन टू डी आर्बिटॉल दिस इज डी आर्बिटॉल दिस इज पी आर्बिटॉल एंड दिस इज एस आर्बिटॉल so in first excited state the electron present in pz or py orbital i would like to consider it as px py pz the py orbital electron second electron of py orbital jumps into d orbital here ana in in our discussion of anomalous behavior of fluorine we can explain when compared to remaining elements fluorine is out of d orbital so that means in fluorine there is no excitation of p electron from py orbital to d orbital because of absence of d orbital in fluorine atom hence fluorine can exhibit only one oxidation state minus 1 plus 1 is also not exhibited by fluorine due to more electronegativity the two factors which influences or which expect uh, which can explains oxidation state of fluorine is minus 1 only when compared to plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 is first one due to absence of d orbital there is no expected plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 whereas fluorine is more electronegative element when compared to remaining all hence it never exhibit plus 1 oxidation state only minus 1 next where chlorine bromine iodine in their second excited state second excited state will show the electron configuration as now during the second excited state the electron from px orbital jumps into d orbital again so here how many single electrons are present in the orbital 3 so plus 3 oxidation state resulting from first excited state how many single electrons are present in the orbital 5 hence plus 5 oxidation state resulting from second excited state similarly some elements of the same family like bromine and iodine in their third excited state especially iodine in its third excited state excitation of electron even from s orbital into d orbital takes place s orbital to d orbital like 1 2 and one more electron from s orbital into here so just identify halogens in their third excited state especially bromine and iodine in third excited state the electron from s orbital jumps to d orbital hence how many single electrons are present in the respected orbitals seven hence seven plus seven oxidation state resulting from third excited state so these are the expected oxidation states of halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so remember fluorine can exhibit only one oxidation state that is minus 1 due to absence of d orbital and high electronegativity whereas chlorine bromine iodine can exhibit uh, some more like plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 only bromine and bromine and iodine can highly exhibit plus 5 plus 7 in their inner halogen compounds and in in their oxide form or oxo acid forms these halogens can exhibit various different oxidation state sometimes plus 4 plus 6 oxidation state rarely exhibited by bromine and iodine in rare complexes or rare compounds this is oxidation state once again during the during our physical properties the most important physical properties are fluorine chlorine or gases bromine is liquid and iodine is solid second one they absorb energy quanta from visible light of sunlight and shows different colors so fluorine with yellow chlorine with greenish yellow bromine red and iodine violet here almost all that is fluorine chlorine bromine iodine are soluble in water they are less soluble in organic solvents or moderately soluble in organic solvents so this is about uh, 
physical properties followed by chemical properties the most important chemical properties which tends to explain remaining all aspects of chemical properties that is oxidation states minus 1 all accepted oxidation state exhibited by halogens are minus 1 whereas some more plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 the adaptability or possibility of plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 oxidation state will be represented with their respective uh, orbital diagrams and next one these halogens can react with hydrogen and produces hydrogen halides as our compounds reactivity of halogens with hydrogen reactivity with hydrogen here halogens by reacting with hydrogen they produces hydrogen halides having the general molecular formula hx so we can represent them as hydrogen fluoride hydrogen chloride hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide let us compare here so from fluorine to iodine electronegativity decreases that means in hydrogen fluoride there is the possibility of strong hydrogen bonding strong hydrogen bonding expected in hydrogen fluoride that means hydrogen fluoride fluorine atom is attracted by hydrogen atom of another hydrogen fluoride and next here the reducing capacity reducing capacity hydrogen halides will have reducing capacity this reducing capacity will be represented as hydrogen fluoride is greater than hydrogen chloride is greater than hydrogen bromide is greater than hydrogen iodide similarly they will be with less acidic character or they will show less uh, acidic character 